Okay, salty chocolate, M both threes, a Z player, mid player. And we're gonna do a review on him. So uh, let's get let's get started. Six four and six uh, seems like you like to play your main and sort by ranked. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. You're playing your mains in ranked. Don't don't tend to switch it up. And right now you're sitting at uh eleven eleven, four and one on the Yasuo, three and two on the Scion. Sometimes the games in Emerald feel un unwinnable. Sometimes it feels like people are trolling really hard and they, they're really just not trying to win. And um, you just have to kind of have to accept that as a player, but also know that um, you will come out ahead if you keep playing good. So like the games where you just like give up or you play suboptimally, you won't, it's like you won't climb out of this ELO if you give up. Some of these games are winnable, and like that's kind of the difference sometimes. Like this game, this guy, this guy probably is just complete, like crazy guy, just hitting too much. Zero six top as well. So, this one's probably unwinnable. One, but looking at this one. These guys all have abysmal scores, right? And you're going to see this in this ELO all the time. <laughs> so get used to it. And just try your best not to tilt and play tilted. And if you're ever in a situation where you're like, you lose three or you lose two in a row. And then the next one, you just kind of tilted or whatever. It's like, you got to stop playing. So that's why I think, I think about your... Uh, OPGG is it's actually pretty good. I'll give that to you. Good job. Let's see if I can uh, get the pass here. Sorry about that. Should get the ink cap right here. Do you ever have troubles in a matchup where you don't know the matchup that well? You can always like um do this uh YouTube Dami some and then it's daily daily uploads three hours ago and then it's just a solo cube odd of a high tier player, master master ELO. Watch and learn, right? And what else you can do is you can type in champion name. And then you can see it against set. But yeah, that's a uh, good way of doing it as well. Although this is from 10 months ago, the matchup is primarily the same, it's just items are different, right? So you just have to keep that in mind, right? But yeah, it's, it's a good way of learning as well. So how how I do it is like when I have a string of losses, what I do is um I go to the overview and then look at my first death and see what could have been avoided, right? Five minutes ran and then I go to the next one. Because sometimes the gold swings, and if, if you're the reason why, so like right here, for example, Camille dies, 
and the gold swing's huge, right? So it's like, if that's you, you have to think about, okay, what could I have done differently, right? But yeah, we'll, then go to the next one. Aurelia gets a double here. But you kill Jarvan. But yeah, it's just a it's a it's a cool way of just uh, oops, looking and uh, then going into the game and then looking at that gold swing and seeing okay, what could I have done differently? So let's just go into this one, I guess. Against Kiriana. Dying to Evelyn early is not a very good thing. So we can look at that. So what you gotta do is go to your champion and then go by your vision only. Okay, good. You're leaving it. Even based on time, right? Yeah, good job, good job. Ending on the enemy comp. They'll never be. Okay, first off, yeah, they'll, they'll never be in this bush. They'll never be in this bush, right? Or else you'll see them, right? So they're only going to be in this one. But if, if they do rush and go in here and then see you, see you go into this bush, now they have opportunity to kill you, right? Because they know you're in that bush. So this is, be very careful about uh, this movement here because it can get you uh, killed. They'll never be in this one. Okay. I like the ward, the idea of warding. Much, it's a much safer one though. To ward, uh, one second here. Try to get a ward on the raptor camp, right? So depending on the jungler, it's going to full clear, right? So if you start spot side, it's going to go red into raptors or red into golems right the rocks either way a late a late ward on the raptors late ward on the raptors can reveal the uh, evelyn's presence uh, way better than than this one right here i believe because most of the time, the jungler will start bot side, getting leashed by the uh, bot lane. Which is risky movement, right? You just you took. I know you're checking the brush with your Q, and that's that's fair. But the, the initial movement here was risky. Everything else was fine because you checked the brush twice, and then you warded right. Kiriana's lane phase is really bad, like, she sucks a lot of cock early. Let's try to think about how you could be using the Q to hit her as well, right? Nice. 
she not she as you know she's not here. Good, nice, nice, nice. She didn't full clear, wow. Wait, why is she level 2? I and mean, why does she have 12 CS? Oh, she did, uh, you can see it's, it's uh, red raptors into wool. Okay, so her path is really bad. I'm telling you, this is a noob, noob path by the jungler. It is a bad path by the jungler. But either way, your ward reveals her, so good job, you see her, right? So I guess that's a good ward. Nah, 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 nah. I think the raptor is a better one, but the jungle is new. So what what you can know is is you just gotta start proactively thinking about what your jungle is gonna do, right? So looking at Hecarim, you have to have in your mind that he's gonna go red, golems, and then he's gonna play for topside crab. So it's kind of your duty to be in a position to help him, right? So just tr try to keep that in mind. In the next like 30, 40 seconds, the situation is gonna happen, right? And that's kind of what it means to to play at a higher tier. Cause you want to really help your jungler accelerate right he's playing hecarim right he, once he gets you know full clears a couple times level five he's going to be looking for kills and if he gets some then he's going to carry the game let's just see how the the wave is getting pushed in right now if this wave is too big and it freezes up here and you're unable to help Hecarim then you're making a bad move so try to keep that in mind <clears throat> play around your jungler as you climb up your jungler will help well your jungler will carry you just because they farm so many times so many camps they just carry that's all they need to do farm so many camps okay so top top is Mia I think he's warding <laughs> But you don't really need to know about that, right? But look, look, look what kind of what happens in this situation for Akram, right? He's going to go in blind when Gwen is Mia. So he's, po he's probably going to die soon. Or he's going to have to burn a summer, summoner and he's going to miss uh, getting the crab, right? That's the way I see what's going to happen. The wave is the wave is kind of big, right? And you're and you're roaming. Oh. Okay, I thought you were gonna roam up there. Too early. Wait, unless you get the kill. So yeah, this is this is a bit forced by you. And you sh you already know that Evelyn is here, right? It's like um when you play this is called execution, right? Execution. But you you know you know Evelyn's here or around around here because you had the ward, right? So your ward your ward tells you that if you play up this way, you're gonna meet Evelyn, right? So it's like it's not getting the kill is execution, but there's also situational awareness of tracking a jungler, right? And if you don't track the jungler at this ELO, you're not gonna climb because it's so easy to climb when you do track the track the jungler, right? That's a good cue there on him. And in here with the W, it's just execution, right? Next time you play this situation, try to play it a little bit better, right? And just always try to seek to improve. But then here is just uh, you're forcing this, right? You're forcing this too much. One, two, three, four, five. There's five minions here. Evelyn's in this general area, hundred percent, because you warded and you saw her. 
And with your spells on cooldown, you simply probably don't have enough to kill it, right? And, then, and you kind of get baited, right? And then do you lose the wave here too? Luckily for you, they didn't shove the wave in. But if they if they shove the wave in, you're getting denied so much. Evelyn runs top now. Nothing happens. So yeah, you got bailed out by the enemy team for sure. But yeah, you just can never die here because like you should be thinking about. Yeah, you, you should just never die there. job her lane phase is so bad so easy to to uh, harass her Good. I think you should toss your Q here. But yeah, it's just trading, right? So like when you look at trading like this, you just have to really just look it over and over again and see what you could have done better, right? Maybe you're scared of maybe you know where the jungler is and you're scared of over committing. But yeah. I was on cool that was on cooldown and by the time uh, it came up backed off all right all right but yeah it's just something to think about because i feel like uh she's in kill range right once you hit six so you should kill her very soon right okay so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something right now. I'm gonna link it to you too as well. Oh, sorry, it's not this one. It's guide. Then he goes into uh, his combos, right? He goes into his combos, but more importantly, goes into his his uh, turret dive combos. His turret dive combos, right? So I want I want you to watch this because look at the bottom it says uh, the translation. And then watch, watch all of them, right? Because he does some crazy shit. But yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I think this 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 dive could have been uh, done a lot better. For sure, yeah. Okay, so a part of the dive here. I think yeah, it's execution here, right? Just what 
feel like you watch the combo video and try to get uh get used to it and also try to time it. Hold on. Try to time it so when you hit level six, this wave is already getting hit by the turret. And that's that's a that's another big thing about this this play here is because uh this wave is in a really awkward spot. It's really hard to push this late wave in with your living shadow down, right? Yeah, you just have to look at it over and over and over again and think about what you could have done differently and just think about like her you know, her spells, what she what she has available to her. Right? She has a that that dash with the W, right? That she just used it right now. But then she dashed with her E over you to get into turret, right? So you recognize that she W'd and then you E'd early, I think. So yeah, this is just all execution, right? So it's like they, when you watch it over and over again, like if you're not able to execute on these players, you're gonna have troubles climbing, right? This, is, this should be easy. Snap, snap easy for you. Does your E hit her? Yeah, okay, your E your E does hit her. My bad, my bad. You're good, you're good. Your E does hit her. That's my my, my apologies there. But you missed your E. Definitely just execution. Sorry, sorry for speeding up there. Yeah, she should be already dead, so yeah, just there's a lot there's uh some things you need to work on. She's level five. She does flash. She she might get away, right? Good bait. Careful about dying here. Okay, good. So this is the point of the game where Evelyn's invisible, right? So the only way of knowing where she is is if we have pink wards or if we ward her camps, right? So 
Now to keep in mind against Evelyn, you just want to ward the camps. If you have a ward, but you don't have any, so it's fine. And if you don't have a ward, just try to pink board. Pink board anywhere, just at least one. I think it's very helpful against Evelyn. It'll help you make better decisions playing against her. Good auto. Good R. She's gonna ult soon, right? Oh, wow, she didn't ult. Your E reduces your W cooldown. So when you went in, she killed you too quick. Damn, that's unlucky. Although now you're zero and two. I think I think your first death should have been avoided, and I think you should have killed Kiwi here. Alright, you should have killed Kiri when you're level six and she's level five. I think these two mistakes are are really big. And this is just um if you do this play often, you're not going to climb very fast. It's going to take a long time for you to climb. This is just, um, you don't need your art. All is on, art is on cooldown. You just got to lane. There's a cannon here. 49 damage per. You know, it's like you need to make sure this cannon's not here. Getting traded? No, no, you can't play like this. Waste ignite? No. For some reason you lost all senses. You lost all your senses for some reason. It's not good. You can't. You can't play like that if you want to climb. Yeah, I'm gonna probably leave this replay right here because Evelyn is just uh, it's hard to play against her in low ELO because players don't buy pink wards right because like if I'm playing support I would have pink ward already and if I'm playing mid I would have pink ward already if playing jungle I'd have two two pink wards already but we're not we don't do this right we have zero pink wards on the map right um, and if I'm playing support, I'd also ward the enemy camps so I know where Evelyn is, right? If this doesn't happen at lower yellow. And it leads to just the, the player just getting free kills and just uh, running around the map. So we'll just pause that pause that one right there and just try to think about the early game mistakes you made. For sure. <laughs> And this one is like, you had yeah, inting team, I think. It happens. And then your last one. Four AD. Akshan, Aurelia. We watch it. We should watch this one. Right at this, right here, this moment right here. As the gold swings up, 
and then it just keeps swinging up for the rest of the game, pretty much. Akshan is pretty broken. Super, super crazy champion. But so much AD on your team is like ne usually never good, right? Okay, so this game you just um, AFK for too long. You just join late. That happens. Oh, you don't need to watch this one, man. It's not a real game. No, it happens. Every once in a while, that's going to happen. It's going to be tilting, too, if you don't... If you haven't been winning recently and this happens, it's going to be really tilting when this happens, right? But it's like, that's not even a real game. But yeah, we're going to pause the review for there. And then... Uh, hopefully, you'll send me more reviews. And we'll look at the game. But yeah, good luck on the rift.